please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list. hello namaskar and other to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance so far we have done the maturity of planets until saturn and a couple of weeks back we did the video on what the maturity of saturn means basis how saturn is placed in your horoscope what is maturity means by virtue of how you have carried yourself so far and so on and we have done so for all the planets until saturn so today we are going to talk about as i realize one of the key planets in your horoscope if not the most important but definitely the key planets which may control to a large extent a lot of energies in the horoscope a lot of results in the horoscope a lot of effects a lot of manifestation in the horoscopes and what is the overall output of your life if there is one planet which captures the juice of your life the juice of your life and can in um, can in a way explain how you have lived your life so far then rahu in your horoscope rahu's placement in your hor horoscope rahu's yogas doshas rahu's aspects which house the rahu is placed in which sign rahu is placed in where which signs or which planets it is aspecting all of these come together and if you just describe rahu's placement in your horoscope and how you have led your life to a large extent they will go in parallel and hence rahu is a telling force in your horoscope and hence rahu's maturity period is also a telling period in our horoscopes in our lives now i have explained this many times before also what does the, the maturity of a planet mean planets mature at certain ages for different individuals so for example somebody who is um, saturn's maturity period is come upon him he will the the maturity period is at 35 years however somebody may turn 35 last year somebody may th turn 35 next year right but what it means is that it is the is, is the person ready for the planet's mature results rather than the planet maturing for the person so the actual meaning is is the person ready enough for the planet to give you mature results which means have you matured enough to deserve the mature results of the planet so if in one line if i have to describe the maturity of planet it means have you matured enough to deserve the mature results of the planet which is maturing at that age so the maturity of rahu is also in that same context very very important and rahu's maturity is about do you deserve to get the mature results of rahu because all the planets give you results throughout your lives but certain mature results come to us only after crossing a certain threshold for example teenage teenagers may indulge in intimacy act of intimacy or even sex a lot of uh, teenagers nowadays get into the sexual act in the in the teens very very early teens in fact however the age for marriage the legal age for marriage is seen as in different countries above 16 years and many countries even above 18 years for example in india to be legally married you need to be 18 years for a girl and 21 years for a boy which means legally to get married or to get indulged in the sexual act you need to be a certain age however teenagers uh, don't wait we all went through the same ages so while results keep coming to us in different forms the mature results come to us only when we deserve those and hence even when we want to get married our parents sometimes may force us to get married if you have settled and they may say okay you need to now you have you have got a good career you have got a good job now please get married or sometimes the parents may say you are lazy you have nothing in uh, you know life so far you have not achieved you have not even finished your education you are asking us to get you married how can you how can we ask uh, you know especially in the case of arranged marriages how can we ask uh, the, the uh, you know the partners parents for the hand of their daughter or their son in marriage to you because you have not settled in life because you have not matured to the concept of marriage in terms of how you have led your life so far you don't deserve marriage for example so in certain areas of our life 
if in a career for example we are looking at leadership roles or leadership may question as when we ask for a promotion they may say no we don't think you are ready for a promotion yet you have not done uh, well so far in your current job and you are asking for a promotion so in various areas of our life irrespective of the planetary placements by which of we wishing for certain things or desiring certain things we will be questioned when we ask for more similarly is the placement of rahus uh, similarly is rahus placement in a horoscope also and the age of maturity rahu asks us the question do you truly deserve the results which i can give you because jupiter is an expansion but rahu is an explosion so if somebody has jupiter in the fourth house normally if it's placed well in strong placement it will give you a large house it will give you big cars luxurious cars suvs i know a lot of people who have jupiter in the fourth house and they drive big cars luxurious uh, cars and they live in large houses and they have lot of material conveniences also there is no dearth of things for them even if they living on the income of somebody else yet their luck attracts attracts those things for them so similarly rahu's placement in your horoscope will give you that hunger the desire the passion for that area of your life and rahu is like the maya energy the magical energy which is enticing you seducing you towards certain areas of your life so there is wherever rahu's placement in your horoscope is rahu will give you that tendency rahu can give you super intelligence rahu can give you beautiful looks rahu can give you astounding success rahu can give you power rahu can give you intelligence in some area of li- of life rahu will definitely want to give you more and rahu is waiting to give you more depending on how you carry yourself and how you manifest those rahu's energies and that's why rahu is the head whereas ketu is the body head and the mouth we know that rahu has a large mouth and that's why in various pictures rahu is seen as um, gulping up both sun and moon in an eclipse so rahu's placement in your horoscope is also very very important rahu being the mouth rahu is like you know if a person eats and overeats and is not ready to burn up those calories that he is consuming so if somebody is eating a lot then the need has to be commensurate to what they eating so if somebody is always on their toes always running around and doing a lot of hard work morning to evening and even if they eat more they burn up those calories but if you are eating a lot and and if you are not doing any strenuous work any hard work especially which means running around a lot then what happens then all that energy is accumulated and that all that energy which is accumulated and not being used becomes fat becomes cholesterol becomes toxins and they harm your body similarly rahu's placement in your horoscope also means a lot of energy is given to you passion is given to you hunger is given to you if you don't use that positively if you don't use that energy then rahu that energy becomes a toxic energy and then pushes you into those areas which are unethical areas so if rahu for example is placed in the fourth house and if you are not using the lot of positive energy that rahu gives you in the fourth house to use the positive energy and the hunger and passion to ethically and to do morally right things to get all the material success but if you are not up to it you are not up to that kind of a hard work then rahu makes you think unethically manipulatively tactfully and then you look at without doing hard work how can i get a big house how can i get more um, assets and rahu then tends to take you in that direction because rahu wants you to expend that energy so rahu says do it right do it ethically do it morally right i will give you the results but because we are not up to using all the energy of rahu just like many of us are not in the fittest in terms of a physical structure physical health because we don't eat right so most of us we end, tend to add toxins in our bodies tend to add fats and cholesterol in our bodies and later on we suffer the consequences similarly is rahu's placement if you don't use the ethical um, if you don't use rahu's energies ethically and in a right manner and use all the energies expend those energies by being focused in that direction then rahu will push you into extreme areas and this is important because we know that rahu's placement in the horoscope is the karma for 
that life and whereas Ketu is where you have already been there done that so wherever Rahu is placed you need to act more do more and Rahu says you do more I'll give you more and because we don't act more Rahu tends to not give us more and hence many times because we are slow to Rahu's energies we are slow to use the and manifest Rahu's mature results and hence Rahu's maturity comes very late in life where we have gone through all the rigmaroles of life ups and downs all the challenges and all the issues and hence many times Rahu will entice you Rahu is a planet of enticement Rahu tests you some of the most rigorous stress without being seen as tests are given by Rahu where Saturn will put you through tests which you will feel the test is upon you where you lose a job you lose a relationship Saturn will make you sweat and then you will realize that okay this is tough challenge Rahu will give you those tests in such a manner that you will not even see that as a test you may see opportunity almost coming to you and then going away or opportunity being given to you for some time and then suddenly being pulled away from you because that is Rahu Rahu wants you to mature quickly and if you are not up to the maturity of Rahu then Rahu will can also bring you a downfall so Rahu will put you through various phases of your life for example somebody who is a growing uh, you know, student or he is a growing individual and then when he starts to earn money say a young boy he wants to have a good motorcycle a mobile and then when he gets a good nice motorbike he wants a super bike and then after the super bike he may want a car and once he has the car he may want a larger car maybe a sports car after that he may want a luxurious car maybe a Rolls Royce after that he may want to have the ability or the money to be able to charter a plane or after that once he is able to charter a plane he may want to have his own plane own private plane once he has his own private Cessna for example a 10 12 seater he may want to have a large jumbo jet like a Trump has so the need will move on and on and on so Rahu makes you go through the phases a phases of hunger of greed of passion and you keep chasing that and keep moving in that direction so with each passing phase Rahu wants also you to be more and more mature in life and show maturity towards relationships show maturity towards partnerships show maturity towards your duty show maturity towards your responsibility show maturity towards your commitment show maturity towards your family show maturity towards your friends show maturity towards society in general only when you are able to do all that and generally by the time you hit 41 you have seen that you have done that all that you must have moral slip you must have gone through at least a relationship of not, not more most of us would have been settled in life married and having children we would have gone through at least 10 to 15 or maybe 20 25 years of career we would have seen our parents going old in front of us we would have seen society going through different phases we would have seen at least one or two generations after us and we have had enough time not to be manipulative not to cheat not to trick people because Rahu gives all these chances for us Rahu tests us with the chance to be to do indulge infidelity will attract you towards you know more outside of your marriage also Rahu may entice you towards more money Rahu may entice you even when you have a stable career it will entice you towards more money in a in a career or with a brand of a company which may not be as good as your current company but Rahu entices you and sees whether you fall for it and then quit a job which is more stable maybe lesser paying job and then you make the mistake of going for extra money maybe to a lesser known brand and then you you know repent you may have a good stable life family life you have an uh, enticement outside of your marriage and you indulge you transgress those uh, ethical boundaries of marriage and then you repent later you may end up losing the relationship or you may lose the respect in front of your family you may have a good strong position in your company but you may do something more you, you may fudge data you may do some unethical practices so that you overcome competition and you end up losing face in your company so Rahu will go make you through go, go through all those phases where you face challenges in relationships enticements outside of your marriage you face challenges in career enticements in career where you face challenges in friendship enticements in friendship enticements in business enticements of being able to you know not pay your taxes not do the right thing not lead the ethical life 
and so because by the time you hit 41 years you would have gone through all these phases and you would have got a chance to transgress or to be righteous and hence by the time you are hitting 41 you should have been mature enough to have faced all these challenges and yet been righteous if you have done that then after 41 in fact a few year, years here or there between Saturn's maturity period and there on and more so when Rahu's maturity period is upon you, Rahu can give you explosive results, Rahu can give you fantastic results. But all of this is commensurate to you knowing what your purpose of life is, what your karma of your life is because Rahu's placement is for the karma of your life. And so if you are not focused on your karma, you are not focused on the purpose of your life, you have not led the life in the line of your karma, what you are supposed to achieve, what you are supposed to do for others then Rahu thinks that you are not ready for it to give you mature results which means you are not deserving of the mature explosive results that Rahu can give you. So in spite of being given the opportunity if you have been indisciplined, you have been procrastinating, you have been defocused, you have been lazy, you have been lethargic, you have been somebody who is not ready to commit, somebody who is not ready to take responsibility, somebody who is just, just doesn't take accountability then how can you say that you have matured to be able to deserve of the explosive results that Rahu can give you and Rahu will tend to test you throughout your life till your 41st age in fact after your immediately after your 31st years and if Rahu sees that you are not fit enough you are not mature enough to be able to deserve of its mature results where you have no purpose of life you have not done anything with your karma you have transgressed various boundaries, you have cheated, you have not paid your taxes, you have not been somebody who has been committed to your job, you have not been right, you have not followed the right judgment, you have not taken wise decisions, you have not been right in relations, then Rahu doesn't deem you fit to give you explosive results, Rahu doesn't seem you to deem fit to give you its mature results. Rahu's maturity results means a fantastic life from then on for you. Whereas if you are somebody who has been very very ethical in how you carry your relationship then absolutely fantastic results for you in relationship where a lot of respect for you, a lot of adulation for you, people will love you, everybody wants you to invite you to their parties, in their families, everybody wants to spend time with you and you get all the love and respect from society, from your family, from your friends in your company and everybody and anybody and everybody including your family including your spouse but if you have not been somebody who has been mature you have been given the chance to cheat and you have cheated you have been given the chance to transgress you have transgressed you have given the chance to not be true in your relationship then definitely there is a challenge there and one of the key tests that Rahu puts you is that Rahu makes you feel that you deserve more how much you get you think I need more, I need more, I need more, I deserve more. You don't see it as a desire, you see that I deserve more. It is not like, you know, des deserve before you desire. You feel you deserve and so you are desiring. So you are always desiring more, you want more and more and you feel I deserve these results. I deserve this love, I deserve this position, I deserve this promotion, I deserve this money. And so because you feel you deserve it, you are ready to fight for it and you are ready to use any means to be able to get it. And that's where you fail the maturity results of Rahu. And hence Rahu's placement in your horoscope is a watch out placement for us. It is not only a placement where you can get huge explosive results, but it is also a placement of watch out where Rahu is. Because if you are not righteous, if you are not ethical, if you push boundaries, if you are manipulative, if you are too tactful and if you are too pushing the boundaries then Rahu can bring you the downfall. The same placement of Rahu can give you explosive great results in life but the same placement of Rahu can bring you downfall. For example Rahu in the Lagna can give you huge name, fame, adulation, everything in life but it can also tend to make you very very arrogant too much on the high horse, on the high seat and then because of too much of arrogance, too much of pompousness, too much of prestige, too much of wanting power and influence and leadership, you may lose relationship and it may bring your downfall because nobody wants to work with you, nobody wants to do anything with you 
nobody wants to touch you and then it may bring you a downfall also so be very careful of wherever rahu is placed be ethical be moral and the most important thing understand the purpose of your life understand what your karma is if you know what your karma is what your purpose of your life is and you look and you live more for others you do more for others of course you need to get the best of life there's no problem in wanting a good life good quality of life wanting good clothes wanting good uh, good food wanting a beautiful partner wanting to see the world wherever how is place it is not um, bad to think of asking for more but draw a line to how much you want and don't push those lines because the more and more you push the lines rahu will keep redrawing the line for you so know how much is good enough for you and then don't push the boundaries of ethical and moral character because then you may transgress the line and that could be your downfall also so be really careful wherever rahu is placed because it is not only a opportunity placement but also watch out placement and hence rahu's maturity is about if you have been watchful you have been righteous you have been correct you have followed your karma you have followed the purpose of your life you have been good to other human beings you have been good in your relationship you have been committed you have been disciplined you have worked hard in your career you have worked hard for society's gains you have been you have been good to your friends you have been good to people who work below you then rahu finds you to be truly mature and rahu gives you explosive results rahu can make you a supremely confident person very very highly achieving person a ceo or a managing director of a company rahu can make you a film star rahu can make you a top performer or pop artist rahu can make you a top scientist rahu can make you somebody who is a huge huge you are a huge huge achiever in any field of life you can achieve more you can do fantastic work in research you can do fantastic research in engineering you may do fantastic research in technology and and nothing is unachievable for you when rahu can give you yeah. when rahu tends to give you mature results so it is for up to us to de- to desire so it is up to us to truly deserve the mature results that planets can give us and nothing less than rahu because rahu is the strongest planet in the horoscope and the kind of ra- results rahu can give you no other planet can give rahu can overshadow all other planetary entities all other uh, yogas or doshas if rahu is used well if you use rahu to conquer the karma in your life to conquer the purpose of your life and you live an ethical life then nothing is short of success for you nothing is impossible for you so friends rahu's maturity may start from the 35th year onwards to uh, the shloka se 41st year and so the more better results may come to you from 41st year onward but after saturn's maturity period of 36th year onwards is achieved you tend to move towards rahu so if you are already at that age and in fact from your 20s onwards i would say to, to be mindful of rahu's position in your horoscope to work towards your karma to work towards your purpose of life and rahu tends to give you slightly good results from your 20s onwards and it gives you more and more exponential results and then explosive results by the time you hit your 35th year onwards and it takes you to the acme of your success by the time you hit 41st so be mindful of rahu's placement in your horoscope of your karma of your purpose of life and you tend to mature faster so that rahu can give you mature results faster as well so friend like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation from me please reach out to me the link given below until some other time with some other video this is a friend astrologer and guide the friend signing off 